All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm excited to do another demo and review for you guys. This is for the Jane Iredell. Um, This is her mineral powder foundation uh, refill system. So just to kind of start off, um, I did have to buy two separate things for this particular video. So you buy the refill, which I got this at um, the Ulta.com and then um, the compact that it goes in. So it this is definitely a little bit more expensive way of trying a foundation. However, I've heard nothing but good things about it and I had to test out Jane Iredell for myself. So for the purpose of this video, I would like to say the, that this is a powder, mineral powder foundation, has SPF 20, and it is water resistant up to 40 minutes. And the color I went with, let's see. So the color I went with is called Radiant. Um, just by looking at this since I got it, I know it's going to be too light for me. However, we're going to make it work for the purpose of this video. That is what's so fun about uh, trying to get foundation online is you never know what color they actually are until you get them. So let's do it. All right. So for me, I always like to try a powder foundation with this brush. This is my Bare Mineral Precision Face Brush. So I'm going to just dig right into that powder. and put it on my face. Also too, if you guys are hearing background noise, I apologize. I have construction going on around me and unfortunately there's nothing I can do. Okay, so with the brush, I'm not getting tons of coverage. I can tell that Miss Cuddler is obviously too light. However, um, we're still doing the video. I'm going to get my trusty sponge. I'm going to go into the product as well. There we go. There's the coverage. It's always the sponge, right? Just continuing to apply to my desire coverage. And yes, I'm aware the color is too light. Um, that is the fun of ordering online and not being able to test anything in store. I don't think anyone is able to test anything in store at this time so hopefully eventually one day we will go back to being able to test foundations but this to my knowledge I was only able to find online so that is what I'm gonna do all right guys so with the magic of YouTube I'm back so my thoughts on this Jean Iredell mineral powder foundation in the color radiant so Let's start with the price of this little beautiful product. This is $44 for the refill. The refill has nine grams, and then you need to buy uh, the reusable compact, which this is $18, uh, which I don't think it is worth $18, it's a little bit cheap. I do like that there's a little hole so you can pop the refill pan in and out. It's magnetic, so it's pretty simple, easy to use. I just think it's a little cheap feeling for um, being a reusable compact. I'm not super impressed with that, so that makes the powder foundation a little more expensive. You could always keep it just in this plastic container, the unicarton for it, but again, that's just a little bit cheap, tacky feeling for a powder foundation that is $44. I do think the quality is quite good. However, the color is just awful for me. It's a very bad color choice, um, but that is a-okay. Um, it's not about the color, it's about the texture and how it looks on my skin. It looks very comparable, in my opinion, to the Bare Minerals Pro Powder Foundation. It's one of those ride or die powder foundations I always go back to. This foundation's $33 and it comes with 10 grams. So for me, I think I would probably just stick with my Bare Minerals Compact. I also think it's a little easier to get the Bare Minerals along with, I think their color range is a little more user friendly. So it's not that it is a pass on Jane Iredell, it's just I prefer um, the Bare Minerals one. Um, $44 for nine grams is kind of expensive. It's not crazy expensive, but 
It's definitely more expensive than the Bare Minerals Pro, which is what I would always recommend to you guys if you guys are interested in a mineral powder foundation. I like the color range. I like the feel. I think the finish is fairly similar. They're both kind of a satiny um, skin-like finish, so that is good. I just, I'm not wowed by it. For the price, I'm not wowed. It's not amazing. It's not bad. It's very good. It's very comparable, and I feel like I already have... Um, a better option for less money at the Bear Pro. So that is kind of my thoughts on the Jane Ironzell Powder Foundation. It is a good product. I definitely think it's worth trying. If you love powder foundations, you should give it a go. You may find that you like it best. Um, again, my skin is combination um, acne prone, so it is sticking to my face pretty nice. I'm not getting as uh, much texture as I usually do. I have a little bit over here just because I got some dry spots, but overall I'm impressed with the powder. I just think for the price, there's better alternatives out there. As always guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.